Ew. Sorry, battery died again. <clears throat> but I'm gonna get some veggies ready. Come along with me while I get some veggies ready. So I, I don't know, this is like five to seven quarts. I have no idea. So I did a tablespoon and a half of pink salt and a tablespoon and a half of no salt. This makes it very, very hydrating for you. This is what will give you the electrolytes, right? So I've increased the temperature. It seems like this connective tissue and stuff and stuff is breaking down a little bit more. Like, look at that. I just want that to be broken down. Oops. That, look at that. I just want that to be broken down a bit more, man. There were a lot of little chunks. I think they're starting to break down now. This stuff's hard to stir because it's all fat on the top. So if you knock her off, it's a mess. You gotta be careful. It's just pure fat on the top. All right. Let's get these veggies ready. We're gonna dump them in. And it's gonna be one more, one last hour of cooking. wash the onion, don't need to wash the garlic, we do need to wash these. How's everything going over there? Hey! Yeah, I really gotta figure out these settings because I'd like to record a full hour. That would be fun. Uh, oh my, these are pretty big. So, two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So these are about... Two, four, six, eight, ten. These are like the length of two carrots almost. So uh, I'm just going two, four, cause I got 10 carrots. So I'm gonna cut these in half, do 10 celeries. And then I'll have, then I'll have a few celeries left over for dinner or for something else. And I don't really cook with celery a lot. So I'll have to figure something out. Maybe frogs on a log, eh? Remember frogs on a log? I remember frogs on a log. And I know people are like, oh, I add onion and celery, carrots, but no one ever said how they chop them up. So I'm just gonna go in half with the celery, like down the middle of them, get that core open. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I ain't no chef, but the way I figure it, you get these cut open and then you can get all that juice from the broth inside of it and boil out whatever nutrients are good in it out into your broth. So like that. Shit, I don't know. Maybe like quarter. Like that. Oh, and it's, it's the last hour.
What's up, Instagram world? We out here. Oh boy. <laughs> we recording for the YouTubes. I gotta figure out the settings because I, I like to have this display so I can see. I don't really need the back, but I like having the back on. They both shut off. I don't know the settings yet. But we making that bone broth today. Uh, a little different this time, I'm adding celery carrots. Uh, last time I did an onion and garlic, so I'm adding celery carrots. And um, one difference is this time I boiled with uh, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in it. And I'm only doing about 14 hours. So 12 to 14 hours roughly on this one. And it looks like it's doing really good. Just getting ready, I'm gonna add everything in about 15 minutes, cook her for another hour, hour and a half, and then let her cool. Peace. Everybody still there? Sorry about that Instagram. Ugh. I apologize. I'm just cutting the ends off the carrots. I, uh, mm, yum. These are someone's garden carrots from here in town. They sell them at the at the grocery store. And yeah, like I'm just gonna quarter these. I'm not chopping them up real fine. Um, I just, you know, I think you just chop them up so that you can release all the goodies that are in it. And add a little salt. And give them a little rub down. Put the salt on them. I see YouTube, uh, the, the chef YouTubers, they always rub cucumber with uh, more coarse salt. I don't know why. Maybe it gets that flavor in there. I'm gonna have to Google that. I found that very interesting the other day when I saw that. So all I'm doing is just I put some salt in here and I'm massaging my food. I'm massaging my carrots and my celery just to, you know, kind of drive that salt into the veggies. I'm about to add a whole bunch of salt, but I don't know. I saw them doing that on the YouTubes. It's like, oh, I'm gonna rub my veggies in salt without knowing exactly what it is that it's doing. Oops, sorry. Hi. Hey. Uh, hey
didn't really see if people just threw the garlic in or what. But again, I'm I'm gonna cut them open and see if I can't. Or, or I'm gonna take this off, get the skin off, right? As you should. I don't know, you could probably leave it on there and just strain it out after, but I'm taking it off. Whatever. That's the joys of cooking. You get to experiment, you get to learn. See no harm in taking off the outer coating of these. The shell, the, the, the I don't know what it's freaking called. And then I had an idea of poking holes in them with a toothpick to help release everything into the into the broth, but then I had a better idea. I'm just doing that. Hey! You don't want to eat that dog. That's gonna be a little tough on you. Yeah, that's a little strong right there, kid. You don't want to eat that raw. Still recording? I can't see my front display, so scares me. Scares me when I can't see that front display. I get nervous. So it's almost 10 o'clock. Uh, go, uh, but I'm about at the 13 to 14 hour mark. Uh, yeah. I had the idea to just punch holes in this garlic with the fucking, with a uh, toothpick, but. Fucking skin. Yeah, and then I was just like, why don't I just do this? I just need it broken open so I can release the juice. Ooh, that's a good one. I, I didn't even know they made friggin that they grew garlic this big and then I was watching a video of a girl Doing her cooking thing. Come on back cam or there we go uh, doing her cooking thing and she had a uh, It's called elephant garlic and it was just Massive gar piece of garlic. I was like what? What is that? I gotta get my hands on that So yeah, and I didn't even know they made garlic that uh, they grew garlic this big I like and I saw these in the grocery, I said, what? That is huge ass garlic. Oops, sorry, I said ass. Whatever, kid, sorry. Um, I really gotta look into them rules of age appropriate for kids, because maybe you are allowed to say a little bit of swear words and still be able to say, yeah, it's appropriate for kids. So I don't know about that yet, but. Don't. That one didn't crush very good. Give it a quick one of those. Oh. God, they just explode. Eh? Just exploded. A little choppy chop, that's all. Just so we can get them beautiful, beautiful juices out of there. Just beautiful. Still there, people? Hi! Cooking with Kelsey today. Cooking and talking with Kelsey today. You know what's actually amazing? I just noticed this right now. Um, I haven't really talked about this over this since April since I've been on this leave Every day every day. I get up smoke weed look at my computer screen today I Haven't turned on a computer screen I Haven't I've been looking at my phone obviously and I also haven't smoked any weed yet Interesting interesting 
All I did was I got up, I, I got up, I made my bed, did my morning routine, except for going to the gym, and came out here and started making this video. And it's kept me distracted the whole time. Now maybe it's because I had a task of doing my bone broth this morning, but might be on to something here. Might be on to something. I also don't remember how they did the onion. So literally, I'm just gonna cut that off. Cut the two ends. Take this outside off, obviously. Which I don't think you need to do. I think you could just boil all this shit off and it'll just fall off in the pot. But, you know. Take this off the ends, throwing the ends in. Get this crap off. And I'll just throw in the ends too with it. And then, like the garlic, I'm just. One. Two. Three. And that's it. Like, I'm just. Yeah. There. Veggies are ready. It's 10 o'clock. Let's throw them in. I'm gonna go an hour here. Ooh. And I'm just I'm just breaking them up a little. Oh god, I hope there's room for the veggies. <laughs> just barely, boys and girls. Just barely enough room. <laughs> So I'm gonna stir very carefully. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What did I say? That's the joy of cooking. It's about learning. So I shouldn't have uh, refilled my water so full before I put the veggies in. I should have brought the water line up to a certain point, added my veggies, and then added, and then filled up the water line. But, we're doing okay. I think we got away with one here. <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay, so veggies are in. And we'll add the salt. So one. And a, and a half. <laughs> Molly, you're okay, my old girl. There's no one coming. You're you got you're the house is safe. You did your job, Molly. Oh my god, the salt is pouring out so slowly. Or sorry, the no salt. Potassium bicarbonate? No, that's not the right word. It's no salt. It's not actually salt. It's not sodium. It's potassium. So one. And a half. So that should give us our electrolytes. How's everyone doing out there in YouTube world? You enjoying this vidya? And um, I thought I saw someone do this. Uh, peppercorns, uh, uncracked too. Um, I did this last time, I think, if I remember correctly. I just put in peppercorn. Um, Maybe the next batch I'll try crushing it up because god damn it's when you crush up fresh cracked pepper it's it's powerful stuff so I like what I'm thinking is you put in the whole peppercorns and I keep dropping them everywhere. God damn it, don't eat that. That's gonna be spicy too. Yeah, like eat. Yeah. Um I think when you boil them like this, it opens up the peppercorn and allows that flavor in and I don't I don't think you have to crush them up 
I think if you were to crush them up, it might be too much. It might be a little too much peppery, you know? Uh, I'm just gonna add a couple more, just a couple more. It's a big pot, lots of stuff going on in here. So a few more peppercorns won't hurt, I don't think. And instead of those, gonna have to get some more. Now, for this final hour, Jesus, that thing is friggin' full. Phew. I'm gonna increase the heat to five. Just so we can get that bowl, because those vegetables are cold and probably brought down the temp a little. Look at those. There's that connective tissue I want to break down, but it's it's probably broken down now, but I wish I could just take it emulsifier and just whoa, blend that shit. Sorry, I swore. Sorry, kids. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Give her a good stir, and we'll leave it uncovered. We'll leave it uncovered. All right. Let's set a timer. Did another half hour there. Good job, everybody. Good job, everybody. So I'm done with that. Done with that. You guys hungry? Want some food, says Momo? Yeah. Okay. Let's get you fed. Yeah. Let's get you fed. Yeah, chicky, chicky, yeah. See, look at this battery's already at 73 friggin' percent. What's going on here? There's no way. There's got to be some kind of setting or something that I'm not doing right. That I ain't doing right. That I ain't doing right at all. And call these cats in. Oh, there's one. Here, Kitty. Come on. Come get your food. Hey, come on. Come on. Front door. Oh, you're hungry? 